clear. Second floor, clear. First floor, clear. That day, when 375 German planes came roaring up the Thames River, the Battle of Britain became the Battle of London. The Germans broke through the charge of hurricanes and spitfires that went out to meet them. Gone was any pretense of aiming at military objectives. This was just savage destruction. fell alike on the homes of the East End poor and the Mayfair rich, on shops, hospitals, churches. For 28 days, the Nazis were to drop everything in the book on the city of London. Tons upon tons of high explosives, delayed action bombs that exploded days later, torpedoes that sheared away whole buildings. And underneath the war in the air, the war of the man in the street went on. He learned to exist with very little food. He forgot what it meant to have a night's sleep, spending most of his time underground in the damp and dark and cold. Hello, Mrs. Fox. You're here early tonight. Well, I'm on the safe side, aren't I? I think that'll be all right now. Yes, that's grand. Anyway, I'll be back in a few minutes if you want. Now, how are we going to get you up there? Get a young man to lift you up. Barney? Hello. Come get young lady and lift up. Right, I'll have to The air raid wardens stayed at their posts. Doctors and nurses worked on steadily as the bombs crashed all around them. Rescue squads labored night and day. Hey, Warden! The up! Is she dead? Fight, guys. Firemen said, nuts to the bombs, and battled to put out fires. This was life in the Blitz. Against all the rules of Nazi warfare, Britain was refusing to crumple up. Across the channel, the enraged Goering took personal command of the operations. And on September 15th, he sent the Luftwaffe into one of its greatest attacks. German bombers and Messerschmitt fighters roared over the English coast. Stormouth calling. Planes heard three miles southwest. Out for hostile planes approaching from the southwest. The British met the challenge by throwing in everything they had. historic three-dimensional battle took place inside an area 60 miles long, 38 broad, and from five to six miles high.
100 individual dogfights took place within the first 30 minutes of the raid. Some of the German bombers broke through London's defenses. And reached the center of the city. German planes that came over that day, more than one-third were shot down. In the 28 days of terror from September 7th to October 5th, the Nazis dropped 50 million pounds of bombs on the city, killed 7,000 helpless civilians, and wounded 10,000 more. Bombs fell on Buckingham Palace. Westminster Abbey, the Houses of Parliament, Fleet Street, the center of the news, St. Paul's Cathedral, bombs blasting the historic past out of the lives of Englishmen. In these 28 days, the Nazis lost 900 planes and their crews. The more they sent over, the more were shot down. The British Spitfire had proved to be one of the deadliest weapons ever put in the hands of man. If this kept up, pretty soon no more Luftwaffe. The frantic Nazis had to pull a new one. They did. On October 6th, they changed to night attacks. Maybe that way they could avoid those deadly spitfires and hurricanes. Maybe that way they could crush the stubborn British spirit. Never mind control of the air. Never mind phase one, phase two, phase three. Now to concentrate on bombing the people themselves into submission and make them cry for mercy.
hostile raids then. wasn't much help at night. This was just German bombs against British guts. Harvey? Hello, Jack. Sound happy enough down there tonight, don't they? Yes, they're all right. The great docks of London were left roaring infernos. Homes were destroyed by incendiaries. Business blocks were aflame. And still the people of London took it. Night after night, they burrowed underground. And morning after morning, they dug themselves out of the wreckage. 